Hello and welcome to your practice. In today's video, I will take you through a 10 minute full body stretch and I'll introduce something that's new to my channel. It's called nerve flossing. So you'll find some dynamic movement, small, really concentrated movements in these long held postures. The benefit with nerve flossing, it helps to dissolve stored stress and tension that your nerves may hold on to, which inherently helps to reduce pain or inflammation in the body. So if you're interested and you'd like a guided practice, then just keep watching. We'll meet today in tabletop. So make your way onto your practice space, come to your hands and knees and extend your right leg long behind you. As you extend your right leg long, press back through the right heel. Do a big step forward, right foot outside of your right hand. Tuck under your left toes. You lift and lower through the back left knee. Lift and lower through your back left knee. Please be really patient and very kind as you navigate the lift and lowering process of the back left knee. Notice how the sensation or the stretch can change as you navigate some strength as well as length through this lifting and lowering process. You press down through all four corners of your front right foot. And as you melt tension through the left hip flexor and right hip crease, now keep your left knee down, guide your right foot back and all the way over to the left. Now squeeze your inner thighs together. Big step forward, right foot outside of your right hand, sink the hips, lift the heart, lift the head. And step back, right foot all the way over to the left. Squeeze your inner thighs together, drop your left ear over to your left shoulder. Wonderful, let's smooth that out. Big step forward, right foot outside of right hand, lift your heart, lift your head. Step your right foot all the way back over to the left, squeeze inner thighs, left ear, left shoulder. Again, right foot, big step forward. Lift your chest, lift your eyes, look up, look up. And then big step, right foot all the way over to the left, left ear to left shoulder. Now that you're familiar, smooth it out at your rhythm, your pace. Right foot, step forward, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Huge step back. Right foot to the left, left ear, left shoulder. Keep the movements as smooth and as steady as you can. Try not to rush. And keep your breath in a deliberate flow. Through this lunge and side body stretch, I'll count you down for five. Here's four. Three, two, and one. Now half pigeon on the right, drop down to your outer right knee, tuck your left toes and walk your left leg back as much as you can. Stay lifted through your chest, lifted through your head, press into your palms. Now tuck your left toes under, lift and lower the back left knee. Just like you practiced in that lizard lunge. Now your range in motion, it might be a little bit restricted, totally fine. Just notice what's available to you, what's accessible to you today. It's so important that you approach all of this with kindness and compassion. The lifting and lowering process of your back left knee. Nothing is meant to feel strenuous or painful. And you feel that to be true because you can still breathe right, steadily into your body. And the next time your left knee is lifted, hold it really active. Stay lifted through the left knee, strong left leg. I'll count you down for five. Lift the heart, lift your head, lift your gaze. So there's a back bend for four. Lift the gaze, look back, stretch back. Three, two, and one. Relax your left leg. Splay your elbows, let your heart and your head get closer to your hands or closer to the floor. Take a few breaths a little bit deeper. Soften your jaw, soften your eyes.
and firm equally into both hands, lift your torso, lift your head, push back into a child pose. Big toes together, take your knees comfortably wide and notice what you feel your right hip compared to your left. Tuck your chin to your chest, close your eyes, let your forehead rest on your hands or the floor. There's no expectation, but now you are familiar. Rise up through table, come to hands and knees. That big step forward, left foot outside of your left hand. So you start in your lizard lunge. You may even have to tuck your right toes and walk the right leg back. Lift through your heart, lift through your head. Notice what it feels like to be here. And then with the tuck of your right toes, start to lift and lower your right knee. Lift and lower the right knee. Just notice what it feels like to be here. Through the deep compression at your left hip, all of that length now across the right hip flexor, strong through your right quad. Notice any tension in your knuckles or perhaps it's your tongue, your jaw. Work to soften your face and deepen the breath through what you're doing today. You've already completed the first side. And you're well on your way into your second. You're here for last three. Small, controlled movements, two. And one. Now keep your right knee down. Step your left foot back and all the way over to the right. Drop your right ear over to your right shoulder. And come on back, step your left foot outside of your left hand. Sink your hips, lift your heart, lift your head. So now you have a back bend. And then big step back, left foot cross over to the right. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Right ear to your right shoulder. Step your left foot outside of your left hand. Sink the hips, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Look back, look back. And then drop the chin to the chest. Left foot step back, right ear towards your right shoulder. So now you have the movements on the second side, smooth them out at your rhythm. Lizard lunge with the left foot outside of left hand and your side body and IT band stretch. Right ear towards your right shoulder. Notice what this feels like through your hands, your arms, and even your right leg. Your right hip, which is stabilizing and strong. Keep your eyes involved. Notice what you see and what's in front of you. And when you lift your head and lift your eyes, what's above you? And you work with this diagonal plane as you step the left foot outside of left hand. And then guide your left foot all the way over to the right. I'll count you down for five. Try not to speed it up as you've gotten more familiar and comfortable with this pattern for four. Breathing deeply for three. Keep the eyes involved, last two. And one. Now the next time your left foot is in lizard lunge, transition into half pigeon. Toe heel your left foot across your mat. Outer left knee down, if it's helpful. Walk your right leg back a touch. Firm into your hands, puff up the chest, embody the pigeon pose. Lift your neck, lift your eyes. With the back bend, begin to lift and lower your right knee. So your right toes are tucked. You squeeze your right knee and right quadricep to lift the right knee into that hover. Shoulders back, collars broad. You can keep the eyes open, looking upward, or close your eyes, draw attention inward. Notice what you feel through your left glute, outer left thigh. Maybe it's the right hip flexor or your low back. These small, very controlled and precise movements. Notice how they echo or wave through your body.
We're here in this active, effortful pigeon pose for a count of five. Keep the lifting and lowering process through that right knee for four. Here's three, two, and one. Relax your right leg entirely. Splay your elbows. Let your heart and your head come down towards the floor. You don't have to make contact, but if it's accessible and safe, splay your elbows, pillow your hands, and let your forehead rest on the backs of your hands or your mat. Take a couple breaths a little deeper into your body, please. Two more breath cycles, smooth and steady. Stay with your body one more round. And press into your hands, lift your torso. Come all the way up to Sukhasana, easy seated pose. Let your ankles cross and your knees drop down. Seated upright, so a little more effort through the spine. Backs of hands rest on the knees, natural curl in your fingers. Lift your heart, lift your head, close your eyes, pause to feel into your body right now. No expectation, but notice any changes that may have occurred. Soften as much as you can. That way the observation is effective. Influenced by those movements and by your mindful breathings, join your hands together at your heart and bow your chin towards your chest. Feel your body breathe in. Open mouth, exhale, breathe out. We journey through the prayer of loving kindness. Stay inward with a soft gaze. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. And my hope for you is that your practice, your healing is continuous your heart steady, and of benefit to the family of all beings. To seal and share, take a deep breath in. Open mouth, let it go. With an abundance of love and gratitude extended to you, we close our practice with a collective bow. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. My name is Caitlin. With any questions, comments, feedback, please be sure to leave that in the comments section below. I do hope that you found benefit from this dynamic movement, our integration of nerve flossing, and really just slowing down and taking care of yourself for a little bit of your day. I hope to see you in another video. Have a lovely rest of your day or night, wherever you're at, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.